We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Ought to be a good one here between the Atlanta Braves and the Washington Nationals. Edgar Velasquez, one of the league's best hitters, looks to gain ground in the chase for a National League batting title. First pitch is next. Into the box, Henry Ullman. He'll lead things off here Here in the bottom half of the first. The second baseman, Henry Ullman. And the pitch. Here. Swung on and missed that All strike two. Oh, big guy, get him yourself right here. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Got to take advantage of that pitch right there. 0 2 breaker hanging over the heart of the plate. Not going to see too many of those today. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. And a knuckleball ties him in knots there, and that's the first out. And now for Washington, R.D. Hinckley, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Now here it comes. Ball. Now, oh, boys, these Braves, as they take the field here tonight, they come in in the midst of a stretch where they've dropped six of their last nine. Yeah, Matty V, and you know one thing you don't want to do here, D-Row? You've been hey, on some good now. teams. Not to lose focus at this point of the year to keep the big picture in sight because there is a postseason lurking, and it's so easy to get ahead of yourselves and not take the rest of the schedule serious. I think the nice thing for this team is that they won the division. They will for whatever happens, get a five-game series. It's not that one-game wild card, win or go home. This team can prepare themselves to battle and try and win three out of five. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Big swing and a miss at the knuckler, and now there are two gone. The main job of the number one and two hitters is to set the middle of the order up with an opportunity to do some damage. So when you strike both of them out, you're putting yourself in a pretty good position to make it through the teeth of the lineup without a whole lot of stress. Batting third, the first baseman, Edgar Velasquez. Standing in now, Edgar Velasquez. Batting hey. left-handed here as he takes a look at strike one. And he comes in as a player to watch out for, hitting well over 300 on the season. Come on, fellas. Let's go. The wind-up and the 0-1. Swing and a no miss, ball, and he's two, in the right. hole 0-2 now. Hey, this guy's dialed in right now. Two strikeouts and still working ahead. This is going to be a tough test for the offense. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll step on the bag himself and the inning is over. Three up, three down for Washington. Still no score. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and Way that'll bring up the outfielder, Bobby the Rogers. Bobby Rogers. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Here's a strike with the breaking ball. Barely able to make contact. Down 0 and 2 now. Hey, nobody went. 
Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Well, we're all hearing his name in the Cy Young Award discussions at this point in the season. It's pretty hard to argue against it when you watch him dominate a guy on three pitches and send him packing without much problem. Batting fifth, the catcher, Diego Gonzalez. Hey, first pitch strike. Get ahead right here. Into the box, Diego Gonzalez. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. The average not quite where he wants it, down in the 220s. 11 home runs and 41 RBIs. One down now, one down. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. In there, and it's 0-2 now. You got to cover the whole plate now after letting him steal two strikes on the inside half. Nope. That misses one and two. Well, those were a couple of close pitches right there in the inner part of the zone. Hitters will tell you, pitches in that location are tough to do anything with. And even 2-2 two -two count to the Nationals catcher. Popped up, Batista it, it. over to his left, and he makes the catch for the second out. Settling in now, Akinori Okada. And as you check out his righty lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right handers. Close the first here. First delivery to him on the way. Ball. The 1 0 home. A swing and a miss. That's the first strike. Okada just rakes left handed pitching. There's no real way to dispute that. However, he's not nearly as proficient when facing pitching from the right side. Now, one hit foul over to the right side as the count moves to one and two. Gerald has both great strikeout stuff and exceptional command on the mound to go with it. A rare combination, but one that makes him one of the best in our sport. Matty V, you talked about it. He doesn't walk a whole lot of guys. Well, if you don't walk a lot of guys, that means you have to throw the ball in the strike zone. And when you do with great stuff like this guy has, he racks up the strikeouts. There aren't a lot of guys that get strikeouts by throwing. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. So they go quietly here in this half inning. We've played two full, and we are tied nothing-nothing. So here now is the pitcher, the dude, Gerald. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Gerald. Now the pitch. A bouncer up the middle. Reined in. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Bottom of the third now, and set to go is the third baseman, Steve Castilla. First pitch of the at bat on its way. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. So back to back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? Hey, not normally a good plan to throw three consecutive sliders in a row. This guy's slider is so good, I think he might throw it again. And with one away, time for a quick check of the standings, and it'll show you that these guys had the division race all sewn up as they look forward to baseball in October. Set to get his evening at the plate started, Vinny Veras, and it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year, looking to get things turned around in a hurry. A cold strike to the 35-year-old veteran, nothing and one. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. I just couldn't pull that one back in time. It's 0-2 now. One out, one out. 
Here it comes. Hit back up the middle. Fielded cleanly. Throw gets him. Two down. Next to hit will be the pitcher, William Lavallo. The pitcher, William Lavallo. First pitch on its way. Starts him out with a slider for a strike. And he falls behind 0-2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Weak one, grounder one, back one. to the mound. Throw on to first gets him and the side is retired. Nationals gone in order. We'll head to the fourth still scoreless. So striding in, Henry Ullman. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. Owen won the count. Hey, no outs now. A late swing no on the slider, and quickly it's 0-2. That front door slider is a devastating pitch. By the time you realize it's in the zone, it's too late, and you can't even put a good Give swing away. on Give it. Your best stuff. Here you go. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. He was looking for a swing and a miss breaker right there, but left that one in the zone that got fouled off. A yep, little bit off the outside, out. it's one and two. Hey. Knuckle ball, strike three called as that thing came back over the plate, one away. Digging in to try it again, R.D. Hinkley. Now batting, shortstop. R.D. Hinkley. First offering on its way. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Gerald is there. Two gone. Digging in the switch hitter, Edgar Velasquez. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Edgar Velasquez. Two down here. First pitch coming, here it is. Nope. And that misses ball one. This year against oh, right-handed no pitching, Velasquez brings in a batting average resting just under 320 and a look to inch closer to that mark with a base hit here. You want to talk Straight about up. having a career Straight season, Matty. This got guy's batting average is... And the third baseman is there to make the catch, and the inning is over. Can't start any better than this. He's set down the first 12. On to the top of inning number five we go. And we are tied, nothing, nothing. Set now for the bottom of the fifth. And digging in is the outfielder, Bobby Rogers. We're moving through the middle of this ball game right now. They want to get things going. How about trying to get some base runners on or at least get a base hit? They don't have any hits going into this part of the game. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Uh, got him on the good slider there. Swung on and missed as he's down on strikes for the second time tonight. Well, he certainly wasn't intimidated on the mound right there. He had to stare down a really good hitter, and instead of working around the zone, he challenged him with three straight good pitches. I like that he didn't give his opponent too much credit. Now batting, catcher, Diego Gonzalez. Come 
In now, Diego Gonzalez. As he'll take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. No, that's and that down. misses downstairs for a ball one and one. Ball nope, two as the, the breaking ball bolted. misses inside. Looks like he swung it underwater two two. that time for strike two. One, one, one. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Scooped up. And that's the oh. second out. Now with the plate, Akinori Okada now comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the Akinori. ball game. Okada. Halfway to 100 pitches, here it is. Aye. All bets are off Hold for the on. offense right now. This guy's got a low pitch count. He's attacking his own. They hey, have yeah, to get more two. aggressive. This guy's not going anywhere. The windup and the 0 1. Aye. Man, this guy's really pitched well so far, attacking the strike zone, and he's really kept these hitters off balance. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. 15 straight, he's retired to start the ball game. Five innings complete, and we still have no score. Digging in, oh, the guy. dude, now Gerald. Right he got on top of one and was a ground out oh, victim last time. Yeah, yeah Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result. That's his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. Now a fastball is lifted into the air to shallow center. Rogers comes on now, and he has it one down. Ready now, Steve Castillo. And here's an at bat you don't want to miss. A pop is something to see, so we'll have to be dealt with carefully here. Here comes the first pitch. Hey. Nope. Good ball slider ball. there, but laid off and called the ball low. Man, that's one of those. How could you not swing at that one? A good take there on that pitch. Hey. Good breaking ball there, laid off for the second strike. Knuckle ball strike three called as that thing came back over the plate one away. He's not going to feel good about that at bat nor should he. You have to want to swing the bat but he just stood there and looked at four straight pitches. Hopefully we'll see him get a little bit more aggressive next time. The batter the left fielder Vinny Vera. So now to the plate, Vinny Veras. As he'll take a cold strike here on a borderline on pitch at strike one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Come on, guys. Now the 0 1. Swings through it for no strike ball, number two. Strike. 
You know, when a guy starts to get tired, you often see their breaking stuff start to flatten out, but that's not the case here. Still has really nice finish on that slider, as we just saw. Nationals have yet to crack the hit column thus far. And he struck him out, and that's eight strikeouts thus far. That's back-to-back -back punch outs, and he's really starting to rack them up now, guys. I've got eight strikeouts in my scorebook for him now, so he's got good stuff. Now batting the pitcher, William Lavallo. At the plate, William Lavallo. A ball and no strikes. Will attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. That is fouled away. One ball and one strike. Hey, no one runs, down. no hits, and no errors so far for the Nationals. Ball and this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Two outs here. Now he bounces down a knuckle ball one. up to the plate for a ball. It's amazing, I tell you. This guy's been absolutely cruising. The pitcher comes to the plate. You're thinking it's an easy out. You lose focus, let your guard down for a second. And now he's got a three ball count. Rounded softly down the line toward first. Oh. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Three up, three down for Washington. We are still scoreless. Last half of the seventh here, and that'll bring in the second baseman, Henry Ullman. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. Well, he's done a real nice job with that breaking ball in this start. That's not the first time he's locked a guy up with it. Looking to send him packing again. And he strikes him out here. So that's out number one here in the seventh as he continues to keep him out of the hit column. So he's still got his shutout working here in the seventh. And with that in mind, we check out the league leaders in shutouts. And with the year winding down, you can see he currently leads the NL in that department. So striding forward now, now R.D. Hinkley. He flew out in his last at-bat. Hinkley. One down, one down. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Tried to check it, and it's 0-1. 0-1. Oh one. Starts to go around here, but it doesn't matter. This is strike two anyway. He's still looking great to me out there on the mound. Punched out the first guy in the seventh, and he's jumped ahead in the count right here. Looks like he could stay in this game a while longer. I got it, I got and he popped him up. Anderson takes charge out there, and he stays with it for the second out. So another exceptional effort for him on the mound. He's got the shutout working here, as we'll show you the league ERA leaders. And as you can see there, he in fact leads the NL in that category. So digging in now, Edgar Velasquez. He'll swing it from the left side right here. Really doesn't matter which side the plate of this guy bats from. He hits very well. He hits right-handed pitching very well, swinging left-handed, and swinging from the right side against lefties. The numbers are quite the same. This guy flat out can hit from either side. First pitch on its way. Big swing at the knuckle curve gets nothing but air. 0 oh 2 now. And Dan, that's a pretty good example of why he's such a great pitcher. Yes. And he struck him out to retire the side, so he's through seven complete, still working on a masterpiece. Nationals gone in order. They trail this one, one to nothing. Rod Lockwood has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 28. Rod. Lockwood. Leading off the inning, the dude, Gerald, as they'll look for some added insurance before the bottom half of the inning. See you drive it like you can. Let's go. 
Here's the pitch. A bouncer up the middle. And this is going to be through into center field for a base hit as the leadoff man's aboard in the eight. Hey, you talk about having a game right here. This guy's working on a no-no. Any mixed in a knock? How would you like to be on the mound knowing you got more hits than the opposition? You haven't given up anything yet. Now back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in, Freddie Gerald. Gerald. Oh, on the ground to short. Could this be two? To second for one. On to first, a double play. Doesn't come much easier than that. Taylor made 6 4 3 double play and an easy one to turn. The center fielder. Bobby Rogers is in for the third time as he swings and misses at that one. It's nothing and one. I mean, this offense has struggled because they haven't been able to make the adjustment. He stayed staunch on the outer half, and these guys have not worked the ball the other way. And a close play at first, but a great stretch that time as they get him by a step for out number one. Pretty simple way to start the eighth inning out. A ground ball, and he's five outs away from a no-no. Now at the plate, Diego Gonzalez. Now and he always catcher. poses a threat, of course. Diego. One of the true superstars Gonzalez. in the game today. Here we go, guys. Let's go. Here we got one. First delivery to him on the way. That's a and a good slider here to start the at-bat, but Count it's one and the oh. ball. One and oh. Looked like he wanted to clobber that one, but it's one and one. No runs, no hits, and no errors so far for the Nationals. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Uh, offered it a low one there, but came up empty. Something that stood out to me in this game is the lineup's lack of a solid plan at the plate. Seems like way too many guys are chasing pitches out of the zone and trying to hit pitchers' pitchers like that one down and away. There's no success in that. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. Diego Gonzalez becomes out number two this inning. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Akinori Okada, third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. Hit slowly on the ground to second. And the off-balance throw is right there for the third out. And a high degree of difficulty on that one as the side is retired. Three up, three down for Washington. It remains 1-0. Stepping into the box, Leading Steve off, Castilla, off, and he's about as dangerous as they come. Without a doubt, he's one of the true Let's icons see, uh, in the sport today. Here comes the first pitch. And this is hit oh, hard yeah. to the right side. Leaps high as he makes the catch. Well done. At the plate, Vinny Veras. The left fielder, number 32. Vinny Vera. Here you go, fellas. Let's go. Third baseman hugging the line here. Now the first pitch. Bases are empty, one man out. Oh, and a good tight slider there, and he's in command, nothing in two. 
There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. So it was a strikeout looking there. Vinny Veras becomes out number two this inning. Daryl Linder please. will pinch hit he here, and he's the, the potential tying run. Number 24, Daryl Linder. Hey. Breaking ball that drops in for a strike. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. And this is swung on and missed. So now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. His slider's been impressive all night long. If he can continue spinning it like that, he's going to be just fine. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate. And he'll have another shot at it here. Last strike now for the Nats. Swing and a miss. He's done it. A perfect game. Yeah, you've heard when it rains, it pours. Well, it was raining dominance out here in this one. 27 up, 27 down, and he barely broke a sweat half the time. That's one of the rarest feats in all of sports, and I'm just excited I was here to be a part of it. Perfection is always beautiful. Well, you don't have to look too far to find our tops player of the game. I'd say any time you throw a perfect game, you'd be a pretty strong candidate. Yeah, no need to offer any debate this time. All you have to do is look at the box score. No hits, no walks, not even a base runner. We talked about his brilliance all game long, and you can bet he's going to celebrate this one tonight.